Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So a, huh, what a, what a story this is. A mother who had a threesome, which I mean is fine and dandy, right? Sure it is, I guess, with two 13-year-old schoolboys. Whoa, that's, that's not fine at all. In her son's bedroom while he was in class. She was just jailed for four years. That's, I guess, two years per boy. I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, I once, I once did a um a video about a mom who who tag team to like fifteen year olds or sixteen year olds or whatever in a hotel. Uh, which that that video you can still find on on my Rumble. Um, but this is worse. Mother who had a threesome with uh, two 13-year-old schoolboys in her son's bedroom while he was in class is jailed for four years. Unbelievable. So we're going to get into this story. But first, uh, do remember to like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel, all these things. And also, I would, I would, I would say maybe consider joining my locals page. Uh, ThirdRailFi.locals.com. I'm gonna uh, have a have a bunch of uh, content that goes there. Something maybe a little more personal, you know. Maybe open up myself a little bit. It should be a good time. I'm gonna have some uh, exclusive streams there, and uh, you know, building a little community, that kind of thing. And for those of you that follow on uh, Rumble, this little red button right here, you know. You know the little red button? Yeah, I got to touch the little red button, or at least that's what she says. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's that's that. So, back to uh, the whore. A 36-year-old mother has been jailed for four years after having sex. It's child rape. I mean, that's, I mean, we were, oh, having sex with. No, it's actual child rape. It's raping. I mean, think of the words that you would use if, this, if the, uh, the sexes were reversed. No one would be go, oh, yes, 36-year-old man has sex with two young girls. No, they'd be like, he raped them. Even if the girls were like, oh, my God, I loved it. I loved it so much. He showed me the, how to be a woman or whatever. Everyone would be like, no, that was rape. So it's funny how, how it, it's always softened. All the language. I mean, 99 times out of 100, the language is always just, it's so softened moving forward. So four years after raping two 13-year-olds um, in her son's bedroom while he was at school, Natalie Harris started sending sexual messages to one of the schoolboys on Snapchat before inviting them to her address. It's always Snapchat. I mean, sometimes it's WhatsApp, sometimes it's Instagram, but it's one time it was even on Signal. But Snapchat's a, a really, really common one. I, and, you know, if, if you've been around for any amount of time, you know that, that I say, parents, you got to check your kids' apps. You don't, you don't have no idea who they're talking to. In a total disregard of any moral compass, the mother of six developed an obsession for sex with young boys. You know, as pedophiles do. I mean, I don't know what woman looks at a young boy and goes, mm, I'm going to have that and is actually normal. Because if you think about the, the, like the sexual marketplace value, you know, that's, that's kind of going into like, you know, red pill territory or manosphere territory or whatever. 13 year old boys have no value. They have no money. They have no, like, they have, they have no status. They have no nothing. They kind of look like little boys, like little babies. At 13, you're just a lamb, a baby, a baby lamb. I mean, it's not like you're, you're, you're packing, you know, a, a big salami at 13 where you're going to show some 36-year-old mom, you know, you know, the business. You're not doing that. So maybe it's a power thing because they are a baby lamb and, and, this, and this woman is a predator. Who knows? But the judge says, but the judge says a total disregard of any moral compass that she developed an obsession, a, a, an obsession for sex with young boys and wanted attention after a breakup, the court heard. 
Despite begging the boys to keep it a secret, she was arrested after a video of the threesome filmed uh, filmed by one of the boys was circulated around the school. I mean, don't don't bang kids. Okay, I think I think that that's fair. I can say that to you guys. Don't bang kids, right? But aside from that, don't do crime. If you have to do crime, do not film yourself doing crime. Also, don't talk to the cops. I mean, these are just fucking things that are so simple. Do not talk to the cops. Do not film yourself doing crime. Ideally, don't do crime. Extra, extra, extra don't fuck kids. Good Lord. <laughs> That's easy stuff. That's easy stuff. Harris from Waterlooville, Hampshire, went in the uh, dock on Thursday as she was jailed for four years, having admitted four counts of engaging in sexual activity with a child. A mother of one of the 13-year-old boys told Portmouth Crown Court that Harris has taken away his childhood. Prosecutor uh, Matthew Lawson said uh, both boys who cannot be named for legal reasons were 13 at the time of the incident, which took place in Waterlooville near Portsmouth in November 2022. Mitch Lawson told Portsmouth Crown Court that the case came to light in January of last year. There was a video that had been circulating around the uh, school both boys attended. The police got a call from a concerned parent which showed an adult female engaging in sexual activity with the boy. I mean, that, that's, also, that's also CSAM material, right? So she, she has made CSAM material. That, that's also kind of a, a thing. The court heard the boys, two boys, initially denied involvement before one of them eventually told their mother. Mr. Lawson said Harris was identified as the woman in the video via her distinctive hand tattoos. Her, mo her mobile phone was seized by police and a thread of messages between her and one of the boys was found who she had uh, saved in her contacts as Rachel. I mean, that's, that's how you, that's how you, you kind of know, right? There was like some intent in this. There, there, there is um, a, she knows she's doing wrong, right? Why not just name the boy, little boy in your phone? Well, because that's going to be suspicious. She's trying to hide it. So she's going to name the little boy, Rachel in the phone. Oh, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody, just Rachel. Meanwhile, it's little Tommy. It was heard she told him she um, or he shouldn't tell anyone as she could go to prison. So she obviously knows how illegal this is, which, believe it or not, is kind of a crazy thing. Because if you don't know, and this precedent has been set, if you don't know that rape is illegal in England, you're fine. You get a slap on the wrist and you're sent on your merry way. And we know this because a migrant, a, a, a brown fella, someone who has no business or right being in the country, um, violently raped a, a little girl, but he told the judge, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to do that. And the judge was, and the judge was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, you're free to go. I mean, don't do that again. It's, it's bad. But now that you know, obviously you won't. So we've cleared this up. Then uh, let's go for lunch. That's, that's the state of England. This girl rapes two boys and gets only four years. Telling the court how the boy came forward to tell his mom that he had been the one who took the video. Mr. Lawson said he said in November 2022, around the time of the World Cup, the defendant has started to message him on Snapchat and by text. He said the messages became sexual and invited both boys to go to her house. It was clear to both boys they were going there for sex. Now, that's crazy to me. Like, I mean, I, I remember what it was like to be a 13-year-old boy. And, I mean, m maybe I was a late bloomer or something. But I don't remember thinking about sex at 13. I'm sure that's not the case now. I'm sure that wasn't the case with with a lot of you watching, but I don't I don't remember being that being like I think I was just like out playing with my friends and I don't even think I looked at girls like that at 13. So the fact that these boys knew what was going to go down, that's crazy to me. It's just it's just crazy. So the court heard 
that when they arrived at the address, Harris took them to her son's bedroom where they had sex for roughly 40 minutes. I mean, there's a joke in there somewhere, a self-deprecating joke in there somewhere. <laughs> and, and left before her own boy was due to return to school. She was arrested and initially claimed no knowledge of who the woman was in the video. The victim impact statement read to court, the mother of the boy who came forward said she had seen her son fade away as a result of the awful nightmare. And it's easy to joke about this kind of stuff where, you know, we're like, oh, yeah, but when I, if I was 13, I would have totally wanted to have a threesome and bang some whore. It's easy to say that because you're in the perspective of a horny grown man. I get it. I get it. But as a kid, right, you know, you're a kid and they're the, they're the grown up at the position of trust and authority. You don't know what the fuck's going on because kids are stupid. And then so, you know, there's there's like guilt and then there's like all kinds of other trauma that gets associated with it. You know, your, your innocence is taken away and kind of it's kind of like ripped from you. And uh you know, the, the, this boy faded away. She added her poor boy lost interest in several hobbies and now stays indoors as a result. My heart just breaks. I couldn't have imagined this happening to my son. He is a child. Natalie has completely turned our family upside down. The worst thing about all of this is that she's taken his, away his childhood and I will never forgive her. You will never get back the childhood that has been taken from him. This will stay with us for the rest of our lives. Eris, who has since been diagnosed with bipolar and multiple personality disorder, was suffering from a manic episode, it was heard. So, uh, was that is that a part of the pussy pass? She had these things, and so therefore it's not as serious. Her crime isn't as bad because, you know, she was super happy in mitigation. Uh, the, the lawyer said Harris was deeply remorseful and devastated by her behavior. She said uh, it was triggered. Her raping two boys was triggered by a breakup. I mean, she's not exactly a looker, but on Harris's split with her partner, the judge said you reacted to uh, this breakup in a dramatic way. In your behavior, you became extremely promiscuous. She said a dramatic change was noticed in Harris's mood, which included an obsession for sex with young boys. The boy described how you started to send him messages and inv invited him to your home. You took them to your son's bedroom and engaged in sexual activity with the boys. They left because it was time for your son, your son to come home from school. The boy who reported the, the incident says the... Uh, the impact upon him has been dreadful. He feels guilty about what happened. You have clearly turned that family upside down and taken his childhood away from him. Sentencing her, the judge continued, no, no sentence I can pass can give him his childhood back or undo the damage you've done to him. The judge said the trigger for the manic episode, which resulted in erratic behavior, was her split from her partner. Uh, it's funny. She's like, she's like, there's no sentence I can pass to, to to like undo this blah 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 blah. But let me slap you on the wrist. Just give me a little, a little tap on the wrist. There was significant planning and grooming behavior used by you. A serious abuse of trust and very significant disparity in age. A total disregard of any moral compass. And then proceeded to slap her on the wrist for four years. Um, she was also made the subject of a 10-year restraining order and a sexual harm prevention order of the same length. So that's that's pretty, I think that's a pretty crazy story. I don't know about you. Comment below. Tell me all, tell all about your, your thoughts and your feelings about it. A mother who has, has a threesome with two 13-year-olds in her son's bedroom. They're like banging away. They're look, looking at his like posters and stuff like that. And I just, I just think it's crazy. Anyways. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.